All right, fake Jake Tapper, fake news CNN, still refusing to apologize for attacking the patriotism, military service of an uh, amputee veteran, Republican Congressman Brian Mast. Here's what fake Jake said yesterday. Take a look. What you're saying right now is relevant because Congressman Brian Mast, mm -hmm. a Republican from Florida who lost his legs, by the way, fighting for democracy abroad, mm -hmm. although I don't know what his, I don't know about his commitment to it here in the United States. Here was reaction. Florida Congressman Brian Mast. First of all, uh, I've known you for some time now. Congratulations on all your success, all that you're doing. Thank you so much for all you've done for all of us. I, I'm, I think I know you well enough. You tell me if I'm wrong. If he apologized, would you accept his apology? Yeah, I would accept it. And I'd, I'd tell him this. I'd tell him this seriously. I, as I said on Twitter to some degree, I lost my legs so that you and CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, and, and corporations, uh, so that you can say whatever you want. I didn't lose my legs for this, so that you can silence whoever the hell you want. And that is a major difference. You know, I, I've met so many people that have come back from serving the American people and protecting our liberty and freedoms, and all the challenges you have to face and overcome and that you've done it's, it's a beyond an inspiring story and when it was brought up in this way I, I sat there and I'm like why would anybody do that forget about the attacks on me they attack me every day I you know I probably deserve half of them anyway but I felt it's just so Look. fundamentally unfair did anybody on CNN ever say this Ari no, not that I heard of but the answer of why it is simple. You know, they don't want to get to the bottom of the questions in these cases. You've been talking about it for the last hour. They don't want to answer those questions. They're jumping to the conclusion uh, before they go out there and do any fact finding. And I can tell you, that's how I brought Congress to silence was saying, hey, just let me ask you a quick question here. Scratch my head a moment. Did any of you bother to ask any of the rioters that, that took siege to the Capitol why they did it? Did, did you have an interview with any of them? Did you bring them before a hearing? And total silence. And I'll tell you, the most uncomfortable thing for a bunch of people that love to hear themselves talk is silence. It's the one thing they can't take. You know, Brian, you're an inspiring figure for everybody. And, uh, you know, you, you, can, you can't really ever imagine yourself in somebody else's shoes. I just, I, I, I am, like, amazed by people like yourself that overcome the most challenging, hardest things in life. And you know what? I learn uh, watching you. Thank you for all you do.